everyone, so today I am doing it to check it ready with me. Okay, I was watching my videos the other day, like, as you do, not hardcore, just kind of like flicking through, seeing what looks I have been doing lately, trying to figure out what to do next, and I realized I begin every single video saying, hey everyone, so today, so annoying. Okay, anyway, um, I'm feeling like doing something very minimal today, but still maybe playing up the lips or something. I'm kind of feeling like doing something really deep. So I'm just gonna roll with it. It's really shit weather outside. So that's kind of why I feel like doing something darker because it feels like winter right now here. I'm gonna start, I got sent this the other day. This is the Benefit Puff Off Instant Eye Gel to help smooth the look of puffies. And I hadn't even heard anything about this to be honest. I didn't even know it was coming. Usually, you know, Benefit stuff's all hyped up before it releases. I don't know if I've just been like hiding under a rock or what. So I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna try it out. It's really cool packaging. I guess you squeeze it and it's kind of like an iridescent pink. Ow. <laughs> do not do that. Stab my eye. Oh, it's super, super smooth. Really brightening. I don't know if you guys saw my reaction just then. <laughs> BB Plus Illumination by Gerard Cosmetics. Just massage that on a little bit. Then I'm going to use some Makeup Forever HD foundation. So I'm getting my roots done soon, but I'm thinking of going slightly darker blonde because I'm kind of not sick of my hair color, but I just feel like I really want to change it up a little bit. Maybe just like a couple shades darker. Like, not dark blonde or anything, but more of a like light to medium blonde instead of, you know, this is quite pale. Definitely not ready to go back brunette yet. People always ask me that. They're like, will you ever go back brunette? And I'm sure one day I will. But at the moment, I just love blonde. I feel like it suits my complexion more as well. I feel like darker hair would really wash me out a lot. Today is a good skin day. Don't you love that? Ooh. I am just... I always drop things and I just smacked that in my face as well. I am now taking LA Girl Pro Conceal um, and this is in the shade Creamy Beige. Someone commented on my video saying like, oh my god, you are so sponsored for mentioning this concealer. It's shit. I hate it. Blah blah blah. A waste of money. And then like telling everyone like, don't try it. It's really bad. You guys need to remember that sometimes products work differently for everyone and that's why whenever I recommend anything, I recommend I recognize, I recommend, that is what I was supposed to say, that you still do your research and look up more reviews because everyone has different preferences and everyone's like got a different skin tone and skin type and all those silly little things that really make a massive difference sometimes. This is like my holy grail and I do still recommend you try it out because it is really affordable so if you don't like it, it's not too much, you know, money down the drain. I don't know, I just love the finish of this and the coverage is amazing and it doesn't crease and it's just everything I love in a product. It is raining really heavily outside, we haven't had rain. I don't know, it must be like two weeks or something. It's really nice to have a little bit of rain but also really gloomy. I'm glad we've got rain though because our whole street, or pretty much the whole city I should say, all of the grass is like dying on our lawns and front lawns and everything and all of our plants are kind of wilting so. We've been on like a water ban for ages. It's nice to have some rain. I'm also going to take a little bit more concealer and just pop that just there where I've got some random freckles that kind of make my nose look even more crooked than it already is. I'm taking Anastasia Banana Powder and I'm just going to set my concealer. And this is super brightening as well. Which, since I'm going to do a minimal eye look, but I'm going to do bold lips. This is the reason I still want to have like quite a fresh and full coverage face. Just to balance it out a bit. And quick tip, if you have any breakouts, it's good to kind of use a little bit of this yellow powder on top of them before you put your other face powder on. Just a little bit, you don't want to look too cakey or anything. But putting the yellow on helps to kind of minimize the redness and pinkness to the zit. And then to set my foundation, I'm going to use Golden Medium Bare Minerals Powder. I'm using a teeny tiny amount of this because, as you can see, it is super yellow. Putting that on the rest of my face, just really gently. 
a little bit of skin food red orange makeup finish glossy type spray and now I'm going to do my eyebrows I'm using dirty blonde fluid line by Mac and this is a eyebrow brush by EXO Beauty I'm actually going to extend my eyebrows out a little bit just to make them really kind of long but I'm going to use a pencil. This one is the Anastasia Perfect Brow Pencil and I'm guessing it's in the shade Blonde on its taupe. Just kidding. I'm just going to use a pencil to kind of extend them a little bit as you can see. And then this is the Pro Longwear Waterproof Brow Set. Br <laughs> brow set. By MAC and I'm just kind of brushing my hairs into place. I'm going to take a little bit of selfie by Colourpop, popping that in the crease a little bit. I'm not trying to be too defined so I'm putting a little bit on the lid as well. I just want it to be quite, not natural but I don't know. I just want to warm up the area a little bit and create a little bit of depth without looking too made up. I'm going to put a little bit just underneath my lash line as well, not too much. Just again to give myself a little bit of definition. Now I'm taking a tiny bit of Deluxe, which is from the Shinexo collection by Colourpop as well. Same brush and I'm just going to kind of pop that in the crease a little bit as well. Now I'm taking a little bit of the Chi Chi Baked Eyeshadow. This is in Beautiful Day. I'm just using a tiny little bit on my finger and kind of pushing that onto the center of my lid. There you go, eyeshadow with one brush. <laughs> now I'm going in with a little bit of Revive Lash just because it helps my eyelashes grow insanely long. Now I'm going to curl my eyelashes. I don't even know, wait on, Mr. Mascara. I don't know where I got this. And then today I'm going to use Lights Camera Lashes by Tarte. This is one of my favourites. It used to be my holy holy grail but I still love it. I just don't know if it's my holy grail anymore. I seriously have the like ugliest mascara face in the world. Just doing another coat. And then on my lower lashes, I don't want it to be hardcore, like hardcore lower lashes, so I'm going to wipe off my brush. I just use a tissue to get most of the product off. I'm just going to add a little bit of mascara. Okay, that ended up still being a lot. Now I'm going to use a little bit of a flesh coloured eyeliner. I bet that frustrated you just then. This is Vanilla by Makeup Store. Holy crap. Now I'm using Oak Lip Pencil by MAC. Okay, the best I can find in my collection, Naked Brown by Maybelline. I'm going to mix on top a little bit of this lip gloss pot and cappuccino. This is by Coloured Rain. This is definitely going to help kind of bring it a little bit more brownish. That's so much better. I'm going to use this Fit Me Bronzer by Maybelline. And the reason I'm using this one is because it's a little bit more sheer. So I'm just going to build that up a little bit because I don't want super, super, super bronze skin. I recommend this bronzer for people that are more pale because you can build it up and it doesn't look super dark and intense. It's not like the best, best, best quality or anything, but it is really easy to use. And that's why I would recommend it for people that are just starting out bronzer or yeah, pale skin. So yeah, you can kind of see how that just helped to warm up my face a little bit. Now we are going to contour. I'm going to use this Charlotte Tilbury Sculpt Powder. This is a Sigma Small Contour Brush. I love the shape of it, but it sheds everywhere. 
And then for my highlighter, I'm going to use my Bobbi Brown Bronze Glow. And then my favourite versatile blush for when, you know, there's a lot happening. This is Peach by Makeup Store. And I'm just going to put that kind of in between the highlighter and the contour. I really like it. It's quite sophisticated but still a little bit like punky and a little bit edgy. I'm like in love with brown lips. I'm going to go on a hunt tonight and look for some good brown lipsticks. If you guys have any recommendations, you should let me know. I'm looking for like just a brown. It actually ended up turning out okay. I just would really love a brown that has a little bit less red in it. I hope you guys enjoy this look. I'm kind of like turning my head real weird trying to like show you this amazing highlight right now. Have an amazing day and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye. Step. I thought I would add a little bit more highlight because I love the dewy look with this. And that is the completed look. Super pretty. It has that element of natural to it where it's just really soft and naturally beautiful. But it also undertoned. I love this. I love the hyper glossy ones because I love a good glossy lip. You do not need to top this with a lip gloss at all. Oh my god. Favorite. Now I'm going to dabble in some purples and some deeper shades. This shade here is called Brills and it is a satin. 